Good morning, you guys. Um, we are in the same week as the previous vlog. It is now Thursday, which means it's another themed special day at preschool for Grayson. If you watch my previous vlog, then you saw that on Tuesday, Grayson had PJ and pancake day. So he got to wear his PJs to school and they got to eat yummy pancakes, which he loved. Today at preschool, it's bring a stuffed animal to school with you. It's based off the book like Pigeon Brings a Puppy or Pigeon Wants a Puppy or something like that. I've never read that book. So I have three options for Grayson and we're gonna see which one he picks and I thought I would vlog it because why not? I've got Porter here, he's half dressed. Where did you find? Are you digging in the trash again, huh? Found some lemon juice? So yeah, I need to finish getting Porter dressed. Grayson's already dressed. I had to bribe him with candy this morning to get him dressed, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I am going to present Gray with the three options. We really don't have that many stuffed animals and Grayson and even Porter are really not like stuffed animal kids. I don't know if it's the age or the fact that they're boys or whatever, but we'll see which one he picks. So I have this lamb here. I've got this Blue's Clues toy here, or I have this huge little, this is really Porter's, but it counts as stuffed animals. These are literally like the only stuffed animals we have. So we'll see which one Grayson picks. I have a feeling I know which one it's gonna be, but we'll see. Grayson, can you pause that video fast for a second? Okay, Grayson, listen to mommy. Today at preschool, you get to take a stuffed animal to school with you. So I have three different stuffed animals for you. I've got your Lammy. I've got your Blue's Clues toy. Look, he's not even paying attention. Or I've got your big, I don't know what this is, doggy thing. So Grayson, which one do you want to bring to preschool with you? I swear. Your Blue's Clues. You want to bring Blue's Clues to preschool with you today? Yeah. Okay, I did not think that was gonna happen. I thought he was gonna choose the lamb, but okay. You wanna bring Blue's Clues to preschool with you? Okay, we'll bring Blue. Blue gets to go to preschool today. Is that so fun? Yeah. Yeah, he gets to go to preschool with you. Is that fun? Aww. I love my Blue. You love your Blue? And Porter, you want that one? Oh, you want two, huh? But you're not going to preschool, but you can carry those around. Aww, that's so nice. I thought he was going to pick the lamb. He likes to carry that thing around, pretend to put it to bed, and pretend to feed it. He really hasn't paid much attention to the Blue's Clues toy, but I guess that's what he is uh, taking to preschool today, which he loves Blue's Clues. Although we really haven't watched an episode in a long time because the boys really just prefer to watch ABC videos on YouTube, so we really don't watch Blue's Clues anymore, but... Yeah, I guess that's what he's gonna bring to preschool. So um, we'll see how the day goes for him. While he's at preschool, Porter and I have to run to Meyer. We have a ton of things. I swear I don't know how this happens. I get groceries weekly. And then two days later, every week, it never fails, I realize that there's a ton of things that we still need to get from the store. So it's like I go grocery shopping twice a week, which is not cheap. But it's like a lot of like random things. Like we need toothpaste, I need more vitamins. Anthony wants like some meat to make different things. So that's gonna be Porter and I's outing while Grayson is at preschool today. So it's gonna be a busy day. It's cold today, so I don't know if we'll go outside or not. Unfortunately, a cold front has come in. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> we are gonna get ready to go to preschool and I'll probably pick the camera back up once Grayson gets home from preschool. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I don't know what happened, but I literally did not pick up the camera after I filmed that first clip. I just I guess I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. I don't know what happened. I realized that I hadn't vlogged the rest of the day until it was like late at night. I was about to go to bed. The boys were already asleep. I was like, well, there's no point in filming. So I'm picking it up today and showing you the boys. Say hi, Gray. I'm Etch-a-Sketch. Gray's playing with the Etch-a-Sketch. And Porter's drinking some milk. Hi, Port Port. You say hi. Like I'm busy. 
So anyway, yesterday Grayson went and took his dog Blue to preschool. Grayson, how was taking Blue to preschool? Oh, there he is. What did you do with Blue? You read books. You read books? Yeah. What books did you read? Did you did you read Pigeon Wants a Puppy? Yeah. Mmm, or Pigeon Brings a Puppy, or I don't know what the book is. Yeah, that's fun. He did not lose the dog, it is back home. I think I realized why I didn't pick up the camera. It's because when I picked Grayson up from preschool, I was like, how was your day? What did you do? And he kept telling me, no questions, no questions. And he literally would not tell me anything. I had to like bribe him to actually like tell me anything that went on that day. I don't have any questions. Yeah, this is what he would say every time I asked him. I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. Yeah. That's why I didn't bring out the camera was because he didn't tell me anything about his day and so I was bummed about it. So I don't really know what happened. Sometimes his teachers send me like pictures of the day. They didn't do that. So I honestly really have no idea what happened. Hey. They read books. It's Dr. Seuss week. The letter of the day was S. He said he put sand on his ass. That's like the only thing I, I found out. So yeah, not super exciting to learn what he did. But anyway, today's a new day. We really didn't do anything the rest of yesterday. We just hung out. It was too cold to go outside or do anything. So we just kind of made do in here. Today is a new day, like I said, and I'm gonna take the boys to an open gym. The rec center in our city does open gym for kids like, I think it's six months to six years or something. And basically they just open up like their big gym and they put tons and tons and tons of toys for kids to play with. And it's just like an open gym and they could just play and it's just like an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm gonna take the boys, I've taken Grace into this several times before the pandemic, before I was probably even pregnant with Porter, and he used to love it. This is the first time that I will be doing this with two kids. I'm really nervous about it. I actually didn't sleep well last night because I kept stressing about how this was gonna go. So I will try and vlog a little bit. My biggest worry is like, they're two different ages, and so Grayson usually goes and plays with different toys that Porter does. Porter's uh, gaming. He's playing with our Switch right now. It's really cute. Hi! And so I'm just worried about like not being able to keep my eyes on both of them at the same time. Hi. I'm obviously going to follow Porter around because he's younger and more likely to get into trouble. Grayson is a little more mature and a little more older, so I feel like I can just watch him from afar. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll definitely try to vlog a little bit. If you go in my vlogs, like at the very, very beginning, you'll probably see some of my vlogs where we went to this little open gym. It's only $3 a kid, so it's really cheap. So we'll go and we'll try it out. We're about to leave now for that. It's just something to get out of the house. I feel like Fridays are the longest day ever. Last Friday, just seemed to drag on and so I was kind of determined to beat that and not just like do nothing today so uh, yeah I'm gonna take the kids out this morning hopefully it tires them out hopefully we don't get germs <laughs> from sick kids although it seems like we always have a cold I've been like having a, a runny nose for like I swear it feels like a month so we'll see how it goes Hi, I hope the kids have fun, um, and then we'll come back and hang out, and then Anthony and I are going to go on a date tonight. We were supposed to go look at some houses. They got pushed to tomorrow, and then one of the houses increased their price out of our budget, so now we're only going to look at one house, and I'm not even crazy about the one house, so it's just kind of a disaster in the house search right now, but... It'll happen when it happens. So that is our plan. Um, since Anthony and I were gonna go out and look at houses, we're just gonna go and eat dinner, let my parents put the kids to bed, and then we'll come back. So I don't know if I'll vlog any of that. Look how cute. Are you helping Porter? That was very nice. You, get... was, you both fall in the chair. Are you both in the chair? Oh, you guys are so cute. 
So anyway, let's go to this open gym and see how it goes. Made it to the open gym and we're playing with lots of toys. Hi, babe, go to that, please. This is so fun. Grayson's over there. Just playing. This is so fun. Grayson, what are you riding? A motorcycle? And Porter's in the bus. Hi, Porter. Porter just likes going in these tents. Busy, busy, lots of kids. Yeah, this is fun. We don't have this toy at home, huh? Okay, I spelled his name. Porter, don't lick it. <laughs> So we are back from the open gym. Grayson is napping and guess who's not napping? That would be Porter. I've tried to put him down for a nap twice now and he just sat there and cried. Does not seem tired. So we are skipping our nap today. This is the second time in a week. Oh lovely, oh lovely all over the puffs. And this is his favorite thing to do today is to dump out all the puffs and make a mess on the carpet. And then I clean them up and then he just dumps them again. I don't know why Porter has been skipping his naps. Like I said, this is the second time in a week that this has happened. And I thought for sure they would both sleep. I mean, Grayson is from that um, outing today at the open gym because they played hard for like an hour and a half. And obviously that didn't affect Porter because he's still awake. So I'm not sure if it's he's teething. I definitely see his gums are inflamed. So he's definitely getting some more teeth on the bottom. But you would think he would be tired and he is not. So great. Um, I guess that'll just make it easier on my parents. I'll just put him into bed earlier tonight when Anthony and I go out to eat. But doesn't let me have any alone time during nap. So at least one of them is sleeping and they're not both not napping. Because I've had those days and they're hard. But why isn't he napping? But yeah, both boys really enjoyed the open gym. It was actually busy. I didn't think it would be, but it was. And actually, we met some people that we knew. Um, a couple of people from Grayson's soccer team actually were at this event. So it was fun to see familiar faces. And there were so many toys for the boys to play with. I, it was very stressful watching both of them. Um, I can't imagine how it'll be when I have three. Um, but it was very stressful having... <laughs> Porter's just making a mess. It's very stressful having um, two kids going in completely opposite directions, but I kept an eye on both of them. Gray stayed where I could see him. I did lose him a couple times, but I was able to find him almost immediately. So it was stressful, but both boys really liked it. So I'm glad we went. It was nice to get out of the house for a little bit. And now I just need to clean before my parents come over because Porter keeps making messes. Hey, no, no. no we're not going to make a mess. No, thank you. Can you clean up your puffs? Enjoy this how it looks now because this is the cleanest this playroom will get. <laughs> I had to vacuum the carpet so I had to get all the toys away or to the side. Porter's on the I sit and spin. Picasso tiles. Yeah, are you gonna make some Picasso tile ideas? Gray's gonna build something. Here's our bin full of magnet tiles, or we have Picasso tiles. I think he might be getting some more for his birthday, huh? He always uses my phone to look up magnetile ideas. Grayson isn't that creative on his own. He likes to look up ideas and then copy them down instead of coming up with ideas on his own. 
I think I just like basically said the same thing, so sorry about that, but that's like very similar to me. I am not creative of thinking of things on my own, but if I see something, then I like to recreate it and try to recreate it as best I can, and that is Grayson. He is a visual learner and likes to recreate ideas, so he uses my phone and looks up ideas on different magnetile designs to do, and then he tries to recreate them. So I think for his birthday, I might try to get him like a booklet of ideas. They have that on Amazon. And so I think he would really like something like that.